Hello and welcome into another video of Python automation series. Due to the pandemic of coronavirus, which actually started to spread early this year, a new Python library has been created, which tells the COVID-19 related information countrywide, and it shows that how many cases of confirmed, active, death, and recovered found in that particular country. First, you need to install the package via pip install covid as shown on the screen and you should have python version 3.6 or higher for that library to work once the installation is done successfully on your local machine we need now to import the covid module from the covid library this is the covid library and this is the covid module next we will create a covid object then, I want to create a variable which is an instance of the COVID class and we will call it Poland as this is the name of the country I'm living in currently. So I will say Poland equal to COVID object and now I want to access a special method called get status by country name which does exactly that. It gets us the status by the country name. As you can see on the right side of the screen, get status by country name. It's a method that fetches and returns specific country information related to coronavirus. And inside here, I will pass my parameter in a form of string, which will be the name of the country I'm interested in, which is Poland. The next thing that I want to do is I want to get the data. And our data will be in the form of dictionary. And as you know, dictionary takes key value pairs. So we'll set the key to be Poland, which we have defined above, with an index of key. And I want to get the confirmed active death and recovered status. For that, we will use a for loop. We will say for key in Poland dot keys. And, and inside our curly braces here, we will have confirmed active death and recovered once we have data set we can now print it so let me explain very quickly what will happen now we have set the key to Poland and Poland with an index of that key and whatever key is returned will be the confirmed the active the death and recovered and we will loop in Poland, which is the name of the country returned by the COVID module. So for each iteration, we will get the confirmed for Poland, then the active for Poland, the death for Poland, and recovered for Poland. Okay, now let's run that. We have our data in a form of dictionary with the recovered, the death, the active, and the confirmed for Poland. Good, now let's see what else the COVID library has to offer. First, let's comment this line out. Another thing the COVID library can do for us is that we can display the names of the countries. So let's create a variable, we'll call it countries, will be equal to the COVID dot, a special method called list underscore countries. And if we'll hover over the list underscore countries, we'll find that this method returns the names of all countries available so that it can be used when querying status by a specific country. Great, now let's go ahead and print countries. As you can see, this is the list of all the countries stored inside the COVID database with an ID number and the name of that country. Okay. Let's try to do something else. We can also get the COVID-19 related information for all the countries. So if you see here, we have an ID number and the name of the country. But let's comment this line out. And let's say, for example, that we want to print the COVID dot that method called get underscore data. Let's see what we will get. 
This is all the data regarding all the countries stored inside the COVID library. If we'll take, for example, one country here with an ID 31, for example, the country Cambodia confirmed 277, active 2, death 0, which is impressive, recovered 275, the latitude, the longitude, and last update. All right, and the same thing applies for all of the countries. Okay, great. The last thing that I want to do is I want to get the status by the country ID. As we get the status by the country name, we can also have an access to get status by country ID method. Now, let's go ahead and get the status by country ID. So, to get the status by country ID, we want the ID of the countries we're interested in. For this example, I will use four countries, Egypt, Poland, Russia, and Japan. So, if you want to return the related data for these four countries, you'll need to come here for all the countries and find each ID corresponding to that country. And to do that is quite easy. You just come here and hit Control F and you can type, for example, Japan and you will find the ID is 88 and so on for the other three countries. Okay, I already did the homework, so let's not waste time and write our code. So here, let me write a comment. Now let's create our four variables for our four different countries. The first variable will be Egypt, and this will be set to the COVID object dot get status by country ID. By country ID. That's the one. And inside here, I will pass the ID, which is 54 in that case for Egypt. And let me copy this line three times and let's change the name of the country. Poland, here is Russia, and here is Japan. So for Poland, the code is, or the ID is 137, and for Japan, like we've seen, is 88. We'll save that, and let's print the four lines. So we'll say print, and we will use the F string and we'll say states for Egypt column and we'll pass Egypt that we have defined above. Similarly for the other three countries, so we'll copy that line one, two, three. Okay, now let's check our code and let's see what we'll get. Let's clear the terminal first. Fantastic. We got all the data that we were looking for. We got stats for Egypt with an ID of 54, country Egypt, confirmed 102,000, active 1,400, death 5,900, recovered 95,000, and latitude and longitude. These are the coordinates of each country but we're actually not interested in that. We're only interested in the stats, the confirm, the active, the death, and recovered. Likewise for Poland, for Russia, and for Japan. Okay, as you can see, the COVID library can do a lot for us, can return the updated information relative to each of the countries that we are interested in, and certainly can do a lot with these data. You can use the SMTP library to send the stats for any country you want via email. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.